Hi, I'm Mark from the Woodlands High School Pasta Bots, and today I will be showcasing Team Spaghetti's robot for the FTC game Skystone. Oh, I'm sorry, was that a little boring? Let's switch it up a little, shall we? Introducing Meatball, an absolute beast that's sure to tear up this year's competition. Let's get started on the sides. Meatball's drivetrain is an H-Drive, which has six Omni wheels powered by only three motors. This allows Meatball to move in any direction while using one less motor than the X and Mechanum drives. Here's that in action now. Now, let's take a look at the front of the robot. Meatball is equipped with an arm and two grippers, one on each side. This allows Meatball to come up to a stone, get its arm over it, grip it on its sides, and pick it up. As of right now, Meatball can stack a tower of up to two blocks with relative ease. However, later into the competition, the tower is sure to be taller. Here's the arm in action now. Also on the front are two small grippers, both of which are powered by servo motors. This allows Meatball to move the foundation during the endgame and rack up a decent amount of points in the process. Now, I'm sure y'all are saying, well, it sure is fine and dandy how you can control Meatball with a controller, but does it have an uh, autonomous? Well, not only does Meatball have an autonomous, he has a really, really good one too. Meatball is able to detect sky stones with a phone camera, capture the stone, and then transfer it under the sky bridge while parking on the midfield tape. This allows Meatball to fish in a boatload of points in the first 30 seconds of the match. Plus, even if the grippers malfunction, Meatball is still able to capture the stones with relative ease. Thank you for watching Meatball's introduction, and be sure to share this video with every single person you have ever met.